This is the moment. Have a look at this. Wax it away. Listen to the roar. Oh, what a moment for Michael Hussey. Ricky Ponting needs some runs out of McGrath and Hussey now. After an Australian middle and lower order collapse, a below par first innings total looked imminent. That one's gone. Two second slip and onto the deck. Jar Callis dropping Mike Hussey on 27, which proved to be extremely costly. Well hit. Brings up 50. Surviving so Hussey could reach his 50 was Glenn McGrath. Gets McGrath on the way through. Then there's the attempted run out. Now McGrath's off again. The enthusiastic number 11, at times confusing who should take the lion's share of the strike. That's a lion, but he gets runs. Only take one. He wants two, but it's sent back by Hussey. Belatedly, in his first summer as a test player, Hussey took charge, taking Andre Nell for back-to-back -back sixes. In the outer as well, down the wicket he goes again, and that one's over the top as well. That one's sailing away down in the same direction. McGrath standing tall, helping send the Aussies past 300 with some tidier work between the wickets. They're going to look to try and run the South African Dragon. The man, nicknamed Mr Cricket, now in touching distance of his third century in just his fifth test. It's very big too. Oh, this is some innings from Michael Hussey. He's such a good team player, Glenn McGrath, that he'd want to be there and see Mike Hussey bring up his hand. McGrath does it. The over is survived. Hussey has his opportunity. Hussey with one of the great test tons, ultimately turning the match and the series Australia's way. McGrath certainly played his part. He hung in there for him, but that's some of the best hitting I've ever seen in test match cricket. Just unbelievable stroke play. A treat for the crowd and a treat for all the people watching at home.